Grade 4 Math, number 30. Partial products versus regrouping to multiply two-digit numbers. Over the last couple of videos, we've been talking about multiplying two-digit numbers. And I'm going to show you a direct comparison between the partial products method and the regrouping method. Because this one is this one backwards, and this one is this one backwards. And I'll show you how that can be. In the partial products method, the first thing we multiply is the tens place right here. The next thing we multiply is this tens place to the ones place up here. Then we multiply this ones place to that tens place and then the ones to the ones. In the regrouping method, it's the opposite. That's the first one, that's the second one, that's the third one, and that's the last one. So in partial products method, we're going to multiply the tens by the tens. So if we've got 24 times 15, we're going to multiply the 20 by the 10. The 20 by the 10, and we're going to get 200, and we just write the answer right here. The second thing we're going to do is multiply this 10 to this 1's. This 10's to this 1's, so it's 10 times 4. Remember, this is a 10's place, not just a 1. It's 10 and 5. So we've got 1, 10, and 5, 1. So 10 times 4 is right here, and it's 40. We just write our answer right here. Now we're going to do the 5 times 20. The 5 times this 2, this 2 is really a 20, isn't it? 24, 24. So 5 times 20 is 100 right here, see? So we write our 100. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do the 1's place, the 5 times the 4. That's down here in this corner. 5 times 4 is 20. When we add them all up, all these zeros are 0. 4 and 2 is 6, and 2 and 1 is 3. And our answer is 360. So that's how you do the partial products method. You can watch my videos number 28 and 29 to see this method and the regrouping method in a little more detail with more examples. Now. In the regrouping method, it's the opposite, like I said, of partial products. If you looked at these side by side, you'd see that this one starts on the left outside and ends on the right outside. And the inside kind of goes up like a mountain and down. See that? It slants up and then slants down. In the regrouping method, it starts on the inside here and ends on the inside. See? This starts on the outside and ends on the outside. And we don't have a mountain, we have a V. See? This one starts over here and goes up on a slant, and then comes over here and goes up on a slant. This one is the opposite. It makes a V. See that? Complete opposite of each other. So here's the regrouping method. What we're going to do is, we're going to multiply the 5 to the 4 and then to the 2, and then we're going to multiply the 1 to the 4, and to the 2. When we multiply the 5 to the 4 right here, 5 times 4 is 20. We, here's the regrouping. We can't write 20 down here like we did in this method. We're going to regroup and put it onto the next place value. So 5 times 4 is 20. We carry the 2 over to the tens place and put our 0 down. See? We carry the 2 over and put our 0 down. Then we do 5 times 2, which is 10. And we add the, the carried over number, the regrouped number. 10, 11, 12. That gives us 120. See? Now it's going to be the 1's turn to be distributed to each number. First to the 4, and then to the 2. So, it's really a 10, isn't it? Because it's in the 10's place. So, one times, 10 times 4 is 40, and then times the 2 is 2. See that? 10 times, 10 times 24 is 240. We stack them on top of each other, and then we add 0, 6, 3. So the first thing we did was we distributed the 5 to the 4 and the 2, wrote our answer. Then we distributed the 1 to the 4 and the 2, put it down here, and then we added. And that is the difference between regrouping and partial products. Just remember that where this one starts on the outside and ends on the outside and has a little hill in the middle, 
This one starts on the inside and ends on the inside and has a V in the middle. Isn't that something? You can decide which method you like best. Either way, you'll get the correct answer. Some people like one way more than another. I happen to like the regrouping method better. But it's important to teach both methods because someone might not understand one of the methods as well as another. And it doesn't matter how you got the answer. What matters is you got the answer, right? Plus, the state core says that the children need to know how to do this so that they understand place values and they understand multiplication. I'll see you next video. You're doing great, and we're moving forward. We're going to be getting into division soon. I'll see you there. Bye.